the union to take a stand to fight back against the bill to save higher education. Undergrads, graduate students, and faculty at Ohio State held a university-wide rally in protest of the proposed tax bill currently making its way through Congress. It seems like there are people who are ready to fight. It seems like there are people who are saying, I'm not just going to be angry in my room or in my office or in my classroom or at the bar, but actually in public coming together to say, we're not going to take that anymore. Yeah. The rally focused on the potential difficulties grad students could face concerning affordability. The rally started on the Oval and the protesters marched to the Union where people gathered to hear several speakers. We're protesting here to save graduate education. Um, we think that the present bill being considered by the House and the bill considered in the Senate also are grave and devastating threats to graduate education as we know it in this country and we're very worried about it. We're worried personally about our livelihoods and we're worried about the broader, broader social impact that this will have. Some reports say that the new tax bill could increase taxes for graduate students making it difficult for people to take part in higher education, starting a movement called Save Grad Ed. Uh, because you're not going to just see graduate students affected um, and of course that's very important in and of itself but you're also going to see um, uh, loss of education within the country, so you're going to have the characteristic brain drain, um, and the quality of the teaching at big universities like Ohio State is going to go down significantly because, um, as my colleague Emma said, most of us are actually the instructor of record for between um, 40 to 70 students for her class. So the goal of everything that was done today uh, was to start a movement um, to do a number of things. The first thing is that we're going to bring the petitions that we gave out at the march today to some of our congresspeople. We're going to deliver them to Pat Tiberi, who is the congressperson for the 12th district uh, of Ohio. He's also on the House Ways and Means Committee that on November 9th specifically took up an amendment that would strike this provision from the bill and voted it down. Um, so we're very disappointed with that vote and we're going to go to his office and tell him about it. Organizers are meeting tomorrow at 5 p.m. to plan further action at Ohio State as well as organize a national day of protest.